Storm Track 5 weather team, alerting you to severe weather danger. A little bit of cloud cover across the area this morning as you wake up on your Saturday. Thanks to some overnight rainfall and some overnight storms that moved in from the northwest. We're kind of mild, though. 70 degrees. You wake up this morning. Not too shabby. Dew point 68. Yeah, it's a little humid outside. In fact, our dew point meter showing that almost all the way up to the top. Humid, tropical air across the area this morning. 72 for a dew point right now in Rogersville. That is pretty high, especially in June. And thankfully, we're going to see a little bit of relief for that, but it's not going to come till after today. So for today, it's going to be kind of mild, kind of muggy, a few showers, maybe even a thunderstorm around at times, but not an all-day rain. It will be a little bit cloudy thanks to all those clouds streaming in from the west. But notice that line of storms that moved in from the northwest last night and kind of died across our area. What that has done is left what's called a bound, known as a boundary across our region. And that boundary stretched right about through through here, through portions of Lee County, Scott County, and into Russell County. Those boundaries can act as triggers for afternoon showers and thunderstorms, just like they're doing this morning across portions of Kentucky and Tennessee. So here's what I think is going to happen later on today. That cold front is going to get closer to us, and that boundary and the cold front are going to interact. And as that happens, we'll see a few showers and thunderstorms during the early portion of the afternoon. Best shot will probably come from about Russell County south into northeast Tennessee, where temperatures will be in the low 80s. We'll see temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s across portions of North Carolina and the mountains of Tennessee, where we'll also see a good shot for some showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Then I think across southwest Virginia, rain chance is a little lower, but we'll likely still see a spotty shower or two as we go throughout the day with temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s. Now tonight we'll drop down into the upper 50s to low 60s, partly cloudy, a little bit of fog in spots as the clouds start to clear out. But produces good conditions for fog to form. We'll see temperatures region-wide generally in those upper 50s to low 60s, 60 in Avenue, 59 in Gate City, and around 59 in North. Now, that cold front moving through helps produce some rain, but the good thing about cold fronts in the summer is it helps drop our dew points, and that provides us with less humid air for Sunday and Monday. But notice how we start to trend back up towards Tuesday and Wednesday, and we're going to combine that with some very warm temperatures. We're going to be approaching 90 degrees if we go into Tuesday and Wednesday as an area high pressure moves moves off the coast, provides a little bit of southwest flow. That's going to provide a little bit of moisture to us. But overall, our pattern of the upper air pattern across the United States, really no big dips or ridges forming. So that's what we call zonal flow. And with that zonal flow, we won't have a very high chance of any rainfall as we go throughout the next couple of days. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, looking pretty nice, pretty hot, though, as you go into Tuesday and Wednesday. Then we start to up our rain chances just to get going into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I think the best shot for rain probably coming late in the week is a couple little disturbances move our way. Nothing too big, no huge frontal systems heading our direction at this time. But a few spotty afternoon summertime storms are not out of the question late in the week.